Hey everybody, MTG Noob here, bringing you some Naya Humans. Um, this hand's a little bit risky because of all the green sources, but I think a turn three swing for eight seems reasonable enough. So if we hit another cavern or a white source, this hand could potentially be very okay. So we'll leave it out with the gorge because I never really want to give away that I'm playing humans. That's just a small tip. Um, he drops a glistening elf, which I'm probably uh, a little worried about. So right now I can. I'm gonna play the cavern. Any humans. And I can Red Sun Zenith that. Or I can play the captain. Um, I don't think we're in a position to really race. If I Zenith this here, and he has a mutagenic growth, then I'm kind of behind. But if I don't, then I allow him to do whatever he wants. So, I think it's probably, we swing for eight, it's probably worth it to try to kill this here and hope he doesn't have the mutagenic growth. The other option is just to play the Hamlet Captain and block. Um, yeah, you know what, I'm going to play the Captain and we're we're going to... Try to respect the fact that he's got the mutagenic growth. I mean, this deck is very tricky to play against because they just sometimes beat you out of nowhere. So, I could have went for it there. Um, we basically have to try to kill it before Wild Defiance gets on track. If he swings in here, I'm going to block. Like, that. there's no question about that since we're literally at 10 already on turn zero so he's got an elf even if he kills my captain i'm okay with that because then he's probably gonna have to tap out and waste his trick the only thing i'm not okay with is the fact that he might still have the mutagenic growth and red sun will only kill it for three so let's see what he does i'm gonna be blocking this if he wants to waste a trick then that's fine I can't just have my guy there. Okay, so he had the mutagenic growth. And now he's probably got the titanic growth in hand. But the longer we keep him off of things, the better. All right. This was a really good draw. Too bad it can't come in untapped. Um, you can't kill them both. Which is unfortunate. So I think I'm going to try to kill the Blight Mamba here since it can regenerate. And then I'm going to play the Clifftop Retreat. I mean, it doesn't seem amazing. If he has another growth here, then nothing I could do about it. Um. See, it sucks because if I play this tapped and rip a white source, I'm good. If I play this untapped, see, like here I have two white sources, but then this will come in tapped. I think the correct play is just to play the gorge because he has to, then he can't go all in on the elf. Uh, next turn, just, we're not in a good spot. So, okay, Rot Wolf. What is this one? May draw a card. Alright, so if we're only taking one here, we're completely good with that. Okay, so we're taking three. And, of course, <laughs> dagger. We, we rip this, which is not what we want to see here. Um, we might be dead now. Because this only plays. I 
I mean, let's see. Yeah, we can't. I was trying to cheat. But we can't. Okay. Hmm. I guess we gotta just play this and pass. The Thatcher's Revolt does nothing. Uh, if he has Titanic Growth here, we just lose. Uh, we can swing him with this, but that'll also help him draw a card. So that's that's pretty bad. So we'll we'll see what happens. I mean, if we rip one arc trail, we might be totally fine if we're not dead. Okay, Iron Clamere, that's fine. Looks like I would say we're probably taking three this turn. Okay, and now we have one turn to rip a Copper Line Gorge. <clears throat> so, what are our options? We can make five dudes. <laughs> That's an option. Uh, I think we gotta make... It's a matter of, do we make a hero? Then just eat the wolf. And take two, go to eight, and then make two townfolk creatures. Yeah, I think I think that's what we got to do. Unfortunately, I mean, we can make the two one ones here, but it'll only block this and this, and that won't be acceptable. So this is a t this is a tough one where uh, we got our back foot on the, just not in a good spot. But as long as he doesn't have a pump spell, we're actually okay. But uh, hey, guess what? His deck is all pump spells. <laughs> So, definitely like poison. I mean, I could actually kill this, but not a big fan of that. Okay, another one. That's fine. I think he's going for critical mass. If he swings here, I eat his wolf, and then I have to have... Okay. All right, so we'll uh, we'll block the wolf, and we'll get a we'll have a one-two hero, which doesn't really put us in a good spot because these two guys kind of beat the crap out of us. We really need an arc trail or another cavern of souls, so that's that's a good that's a good draw. Um, well, I can try to race here. I can essentially make a Thatcher's Revolt and swing for a bunch. And I think that's the position we're in here. So, let's do that. We'll get three 1-1s. One then we'll get two more 1-1s. One and then they'll all we'll swing for 11. And then we'll have two gather tokens back. And then we'll block these two. And then swing for lethal. So, as long as he doesn't have a pump spell off the top, or we might be okay. So, let's, let's try to get, get in there. Try to steal a game here. So, these guys come in. We want the two soldier tokens to be getting the buff. So they'll come in. And then everybody will get buffed, except for the hero, obviously. And I think we'll hit him down to five. And then we will play gather. I mean, he might just chump, but I doubt it. If he chumps, he's in a really bad spot. At least if he takes, he goes to five. Okay. Maybe he has a pump spell. He has a pump spell that's bad for us. Okay, Ranger's Guile. <laughs> that is actually very bad for us. He goes down to six. Yeah, we... Uh, 
Mm. Had Rangers Guile. All right. Well, he went down to six. We have four one ones. Not stellar. We need essentially a Red Sun Zenith off the top or another Thatcher's Revolt. Okay, so waiting for him. We're blocking, blocking. He's going to come in with everybody. We have two one ones. Um, hmm, is there any benefit? I'm only gonna chomp. I'm gonna block the elf, so I get rid of it. And we gotta block the mirror. And that sucks. The only good thing is if we rip an arc trail. Oh, he drew the growth. All right. Well, that was a decent game. So we tried to play it out. We had another gather. So we didn't really have anything coming too spectacular off the top. But good game to my opponent. Alright, let's see how we're doing this here. Okay, so we're going to sideboard pretty much a lot of stuff. Um, bringing these in because he's got the mirrors. We are on the play, but we're going to cut the Thatcher's Revolt because they're more of an aggressive card. He has nothing for Purge. I have to assume he has Wild Defiance. Timely gives us guys, but we're always going to be ahead on life. So, eh, the life isn't, part isn't relevant, and we have a ton of guys. Uh, I think we want the Rays. I don't know if we want all of them is the question. So, I think Hero is very good, but maybe a little too slow. I think we could play one Ray, and I didn't see Wild Defiance. I have to assume he has it in the deck, but we'll see. All right, this is 100 million percent keepable. Um... Yeah, I think I think we gotta play champion turn one, and then even if we don't draw anything, we're still okay bashing for one and having a blocker as opposed to having a clip top retreat and then being able to play an arc trail. Um, we definitely want to use our arc trails. It's a gut shot, huh? That sucks. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. All right, now uh, that's actually gonna be a huge problem for us huge like you don't understand how hard that is gonna be for us to deal with because we have no instant speed removal so this getting in is gonna essentially kill us and our draw is not gonna be fast enough for this at all like if he goes nine turn nexus plan we're just, we're essentially just screwed. Okay, I'm going to be playing out a striker. It's looking pretty sad. We are looking pretty dead here. But, you never know. Maybe, maybe we'll get a little bit lucky. Next turn, I'm going to be playing this and maybe killing something. Seems like a plan. Um, no matter what, we're playing this. Jeez, Nexus is going to own us. This deck is very weak to Nexus, which is a consideration for maybe changing up the burn suite. I mean, I think Arc Trail is probably well worth it. And then the Red Sun Zenith is pretty good. But not being able to kill an Ink Moth Nexus ever is just bad. Deck can't afford a ghost quarter, I would I would assume. Alright. It's fine, he pumped it once. Okay, we get a copper line gorge, which is kind of late since it's turn four now. But alas, we'll do our best. So 
We're trying. Next turn, I guess we'll play this out. I mean, we definitely want to kill any of his ground stuff. I was going to hope maybe he was a little bit tight mana-wise. This is probably Titanic Growth here. If it's Titanic Growth and Mutagenic Growth, it's good game. Okay, so I think we're going to pretend we have a Galv Blast here. Just to at least, you know, be like, oh crap. Okay, so. Oh, yes. We will continue. Alright, so. Eh, we're pretty much dead to an Inkmoth Nexus next turn. But at least we got this land. That's always a plus. Alrighty. Do this. Do this. Play a champion. <laughs> These arc trails. They look so sad. We will bash. And I'm not going to arc trail here. Because I want him to... Um, respect a trick. But uh, I'm pretty sure I'm dead here. Uh, just a quick little synergy. I don't know if you noticed. Uh, since I'm fairly new to the, the deck myself before I die here. Uh, when this guy attacks, he makes this a 1-1 one, one, regardless of if it's attacking. He gets, gives it one, plus 1, plus 1. So, like, let's say they have a bunch of 1-1s. One, you attack with this, and then this guy becomes a 2-2. Two, two. So, alright, well, we'll see if he's got it. I assume he's got it. So if he didn't have it, I would think he would leave this back. And we'll pretend we have it again. Oh, he still still got all these. Yep, all right. Yep, good games, my friend. You got it. These arc trails, they'll get you every time. All right, so we weren't really drawing anything, but what would have happened next turn is if he didn't have the pump, we would have swung for two, so three, five, seven, and arc trailed them twice just for a good measure, and that would have been the game. But uh, well played by my opponent, as always. Thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos on my channel. Please tell all your magic friends about the channel, and please subscribe. That's the most important one. So thanks.